just after five o'clock here on a beautiful Tuesday. Uh, we've got a lot to talk about. Great show, including everyone's favorite segment, the Rob Report. Oh, you Yay! don't say! It's you all got a happening. New, we got a new season. It just started. It We're just at the started, beginning. Guys. I can't believe it. it. I know, and I'm going to lobby hard to have Mr. Robert Puente replace Chris Harrison. I don't even remember his name now. Well, Chris Harrison's Chris. gone now, so... I'm just Chris saying, Drew. now that, you know, they need a real replacement, I think it's going to be Robert Drew. Puente. And also, it's every kid's nightmare when mom shows up at school, but why this one visit landed her in jail. Oof. That and so much more on this Tuesday, June 8th, 2021. Five Live starts right. Look over there. And starts right now! And in color from Los Angeles, Channel 5 presents 5 Live with Andy Reesmeyer, Samantha Cortese, Robert Puente, and Bobby Gonzalez. Plus comprehensive news coverage from Air and Sea Patrol in the fastest moving news report in television. And now, here is 5 Live. Sea Patrol. And C Patrol. I have an alert set. I'll tell you this much. If any other news station in the country is looking for a C Patrol reporter, I'm out of here. Put on your LinkedIn. <laughs> Got your LinkedIn set up for that. That's looking, the only reason I'd ever leave is if I could go report, be the be the ocean correspondent. Mm. For That'd be dope. WFLA. I don't know wherever they would do that. Thanks for joining us. It's five o'clock on KTLA.com. I'm Andy Reesmeyer. You can find me on the internet at AndyKTLA. Twitter and Instagram, uh, send whatever opinions you have about my hair, there seem to be many, to uh, either of those locations or to um, Bobby who will be curating them and putting them in a coffee table book which we will sell for $79.99. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one. Uh, I'm Bobby Gonzalez, you can follow me on Instagram at Sounds Like Bobby. You can also follow Five Live on Instagram at KTLA Five Live. Samantha Cortese off today. Uh, not feeling very well, but um, well enough to continue sending notes and criticisms for us to just be better. It's like I think she's here. She just wants it's us just to be like better. She's and sitting you, you right here with us. That. It feels great. Surround yes. yourself with people that encourage you. Make you better. better. That push yeah. you to think about getting a boat. <laughs> Speaking to somebody who could be no better, of course, oh. Robert Plant. That was the nicest introduction I've ever received. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> just from 101. Just because Bobby was so nice to me, I will also be nice. Uh, so thank you for watching our show and thank you for joining us today. I hope you have a hope you're having a lovely Tuesday. Uh, once you, we get to the Robert report, that might make your day better or worse, depending on where you stand uh, on your views of that show. So. I, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's gonna make it better because it's still so early. Nobody's really gotten on your nerves yet. It's just a bunch of goobers uh -huh. being goobery. Yep, yep. And this we, show? we really don't have anybody to root against yet in okay. The Bachelor. And no one's the Bachelor at work. Mm. People should always root for us. That's true. Fam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, start with the news. Many major websites went down this morning, making it impossible to access information, video, and even online shopping. Oh, oh no. God, even online shopping. It happened here in the United States and also overseas for about an hour. Popular sites like Reddit, Reddy, is that, do you pronounce the T at the Reddy. end? Reddy. 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 And Reddy. Hulu were unavailable, Hulu. Hulu. as were news outlets CNN and New York Times. Okay, sorry. Guess you had to go to KTLA.com. <laughs> A San Francisco network provider known as Fastly is responsible for the outage. A company says an internal glitch is to blame and the problem has been solved. Stock futures dipped when news broke, but the markets have since recovered because it's really a non-story. The only reason we're telling you about this on the top of the five o'clock news is that it's really crazy. I, I think the little detail of this that's wild is that um, the way that these work is that there's these other internet servers that are like closer to us mm -hmm. that preload websites from far away so that we can get them faster. It's been like 200 to 300 milliseconds faster. It was like, you know, half hmm. a second. That's I, 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 I have no idea how any of that kind of stuff works. I just ah. hit button, hit button, put in cart, give me thing in two days. You are the cat going yeah. like this I'm on the keyboard. Like no, no. Yeah. no, but isn't this story wild though? Doesn't it have implications? Uh, no. To, you don't think so? No. I don't. I think it's a non-story. Wow. 
I think it's fascinating. What do you? I, well, what are your thoughts on implications? I just think the fact that this could happen. Either hackers could either infiltrate our system and bring down the, the internet as we know it. So or... I'm glad you brought that up. That is pretty much impossible. Most of the time, when things go offline, it's really not because of hackers. This specific situation was an internal issue. Servers went as down. As far as they said, it wasn't because of hackers. Um, but. The good news is that the internet is not just housed in one building, it's all over the world. Mm -hmm. And there's backups of backups of backups of things, so it's just, you couldn't really get rid of it. So unfortunately, we're stuck with the internet. So if servers go down in one place of the country, it's okay because another place of the country also has those same other servers with that same content that we could still load up people uh, whenever they're trying to surf the web and access either that page or this page. Is that what, what you're saying? specific page are you talking about? Oh, I guess CNN in this example. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yes. You're right. Okay. I just didn't know if you had a specific page in mind. Why? Well, I, I, if feet. you want to bring up my OnlyFans, yeah. that's a different story. So. OnlyFans.com/slash/Roberts <laughs> Angels. There you go. The city of West Hollywood is considering whether or not to allow bars and restaurants to hold more live outdoor entertainment on Robertson Boulevard. The out zones were established to help Shit. restaurants. Oh, no, no, go ahead. You got Bob, something to say, no, buddy? No, no, go, you got something to say? <laughs> no, you good? In which you fight a West Hollywood <laughs> representative. <laughs> I don't know. He's got to tell me. Uh, no, the out zones were established to help restaurants and shops expand outdoor operations during the pandemic so that businesses could survive. But now some residents say that's no longer necessary. Many are upset about the noise coming from outdoor party goers. Uh, this also comes as the city and county are preparing to lift many capacity limits on social distancing requirements on June 15th. Now, sir, you may speak. The entertainment is and giving back public property back to the public. We have received a smattering of complaints from uh, local residents and businesses. The West Hollywood City Council was set to vote on the issue yesterday, but internet problems. <gasps> hmm. Robert. Hmm. hmm. Those internet problems forced the meeting to end early. This item will now be discussed at next month's council meeting. I, I, I love the alfresco dining, but there's been instances where, at least in North Hollywood, Manhattan Beach for the South Bay, where the streets that you once knew, either a two or three lane street is now a one lane street. So traffic has uh, amped up because restaurants are taking over the streets. Uh, to, yeah. To, to offer these alfresco dining to but consumers. I But I know what you're talking about. And I think you're talking about Manhattan Beach Boulevard in Manhattan Beach and Magnolia in North Hollywood. Is that what, uh -huh, that what you're referring exactly. to? Exactly, yeah, you know so, what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, you're right. Manhattan Beach Boulevard dead ends into the ocean. So no one is using that as like a main thoroughfare. Okay. The other thing is that in on Magnolia, that area was always very crowded with people walking around and people eating on the sidewalks before they were eating in the, in the car lanes. And I don't, it's such a small, part of the valley there. I just don't think it's going to impact traffic that much. What I think is interesting is that they're talking about the issues not so much being traffic as they are people pr complaining about how loud the noise is or if there's Who's a spillover effect residents? on Robertson. Yeah, ne neighbors and stuff like that. Okay. But that stretch again, just south of Boys Town from Santa Monica Boulevard down there to Beverly, is always packed with people partying. I mean, that is the center of the West Hollywood uh, um, Halloween festival. Pump and all those other Tom, restaurants. That's exactly there. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom Tom, okay. all those Lisa Vanderpump vibe places. So it, it makes sense why, why you want, it's okay to restrict traffic and have it a one lane street. If well, I just think that case. that's that's a pretty, like, okay, so literally just one block over, you have Doheny and then a block and a half the other side, you have you have San Vicente. Like you, mm -hmm. you got tons of ways that you can go around doing that. And this city needs more places to like, let restaurants be. We need more places that are cool and fun to hang out in. We need more places that we can we can like be away from cars. I think as a as a as a place when we want to go out to eat. And I hope that we can continue to keep some of these. Um, but you're not away from cars. You're like a, a wall away. There's like a little barrier separating you and that one. So you think just shut now. down the entire street? I, I guess that would be another alternative. I suppose. So. I think if you yeah. were talking about a place on the west side where they tried things like road diets. Right, Mike Bonin did that two years ago. That was super unpopular. People were very mad about that because they basically closed off main thoroughfares from Playa del Rey to Playa Vista because they wanted to restrict the traffic. That drives people crazy. But the areas that we're talking about here, with the exception of, I guess, I, I can't think of any actually. I mean, unless they were shutting down Sunset Boulevard, these are not, Robertson dead ends right at the end of that street. There goes into, it goes into the Vons there. There's nothing else. So these aren't major, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's just, I'm all for making traffic better, but this is, just seems like a weird non-issue. And I think mm -hmm. restaurants have benefited greatly from this. Mm. It's a chance for them to come back and to have some kind of um, 
I don't know, chance yeah. <laughs> at, at making more money and having more covers, especially with this still reduction right now in capacity up until June 15th. So like I say, let them keep it. Even, even, even if we're allowed to eat indoors now, you're still saying this alfresco dining, uh, leak it into the street, it's okay. Where, where else other than San Diego, where else in the world can you do, can you eat outside 365 days a year? For the most part, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. like Florida, you can't even really. It rains, Humid. it gets hot, it's yeah. gross. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. LA is the perfect place. We should have more outdoor dining. I'm just. Uh... I agree. Well, now with these guys around. Ooh, that's right. Mm. The first case of West Nile, or Nile, in Los Angeles County has this year been identified and found in Pasadena. The virus was found in a dead crow, according to the San Gabriel Valley Mosquito and Vector Control District. West Nile is spread through the bite of an infected skeeter. Experts say mosquitoes are more active between May and October in SoCal. To avoid being bit, they suggest wearing long sleeves and pants or using bug repellent spray. Gross. Uh, one of my favorite, favorite spots to hang out are the, is the Venice Beach Canals. It's so pretty right there. You walk around, you oh, see people riding like a little paddle board or whatever. I, you I know, wanna go, I, you know, I've never been down there. I've always been meaning to. It's go. very pretty, very gorgeous. Yeah. One thing you do see a lot though are signs everywhere saying, be careful, the West Nile virus is active here because it's still water all along yeah. the canals. So that they live there. So it's kind of gross. Yeah. Global law enforcement agencies have announced a massive organized crime crackdown that led to more than 800 arrests around the world. Uh, these images came from raids in Australia. More than 32 tons of drugs and nearly $150 million in cash were seized. The Operation Trojan Shield evolved when the FBI was able to develop a messaging app that became popular in the criminal underworld. Wait a minute. That sentence is remarkable. Isn't that wild? The FBI... The FBI was able to develop a messaging oh app goodness that became popular in the criminal underworld. Wow. So like they thought there was like some black market underground app that no one knew about that they were using <laughs> to conduct like illegal so stuff. Definitely not a police app. Yeah, but it was the FBI. They used it to secretly monitor criminal activity over the past 18 months. Law enforcement officers were able to net more than 20 million messages from suspected criminals. That is such a bummer that you think that you have this yeah. like encrypted platform and really you're just, right. it's just, it's just incriminating you. Oh my gosh. It I, was, uh, it's like we got these burner phones that yeah. are actually wires yeah. that are linked directly to the police. It was the Facebook messaging app. And it wasn't no, like I'm an, kidding, it, wasn't. it wasn't like an app that was, that had already existed and it was already popular amongst these, these, these criminal organizations. It was an app that was introduced to them, right? Cause it's at yeah. the FBI. They probably, honestly, they probably had some sort of like mole or like, you know, somebody here, hit me up here. In, hit me like, up on this app. Hey, I yeah, got yeah, this yeah. app. This app's yeah. secure. It's mm -hmm. this new app that we got going that you can do all the, <laughs> Sketchy stuff. Ooh, I, I like your fortune. I like your creepy. I don't know. He's a guy. Bronx gangster guy. I live in Australia now. Though. Oh wow. <laughs> that's, that's what neat. I. That's what I do. Yeah. I You're not do. suspicious at all. Nah. I can't believe they've they've. they've I'll never get their hands on me. Bobby better be careful. Jack Casey, criminal. And a prize. Oh, you better be careful. Oh, neat. No, this is good. <laughs> I keep no. I'm, I'm on board with this. Uh, so, are you doing a? Am I, oh, I'm happy to be watching your seminar. <laughs> yeah, this is my TED talk. Oh, yeah, good. On how to break the law and do crime. Do crimes. Bobby, your area is very risky, man. I'd say be careful with those um, those, those characters there, man. <laughs> <laughs> what game? You're what, telling me that, uh, uh, that it's like cartoon Brooklyn 1940s, 1940s mobsters. Mobster. <laughs> very, very powerful mobster. cabal on Twitter. <laughs> Oh, they cancel people yeah. left and right. We're doing right. those no good, yeah. no good impressions. All right, it's the uh, 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 how you say slap. Watch. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. What a French thing this is. Two men have been arrested after French President Emmanuel Macron was slapped while talking Boom. to a crowd in southern France. Love it. <laughs> Macron was talking to the man in the green shirt when he reached across the barrier and hit the French president in the face. No, that's Security not right. quickly ushered Macron away. It's not clear yet why the second man was arrested or if he appeared in the video. Hmm. French officials have not given any motive for the attack. It's a very soft slap too. It's not extremely aggressive. It's that is a soft sweet. slap too? It didn't look that soft. I don't well, want to know I, any more to this story, Robert. Okay. I don't All need right. any more about what slaps you like. I, I know. 
my moms are the, the worst. So. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it went one way and then turn. Yeah. It took a big old U-turn. It was very like... He challenged them to a, to a duel. And I wonder if Macron Basically, will uh, accept. So I'll From titillating that. to traumatizing. Yeah. <laughs> the man accused of trying to breach the cockpit of a flight out of LAX is expected in federal court this morning. Listen. Stop it! Stop your throat! Yeah. Stop your throat! Israel Christian Norton has been charged with interference with flight crew members. Norton was a passenger aboard Delta Airlines Flight 386 to Nashville Friday Ooh. when investigators say he charged to the front of the plane and began pounding on the door yelling, Stop this plane! The flight was diverted to Albuquerque. Yeah, no good. All right, today on What's Wrong with People. Oh. Today on What's Wrong with People. What's wrong with people? What's wrong? What? What's wrong? What? What's wrong with people? Oh. Yeah. Wow. I Dancing just, and everything. Oh. <laughs> Dancing, impersonating other Dancing. I thought we agreed that Andrew's Jessica, Dancing. but okay. Oh, that when was Bobby's that one here? Time. I, I did it right this time. Though. You did it right, though. It? Yeah, 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 I saw it. Would you like us to do it again, sir? No, 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 it's okay. it's okay. A mother from El Paso, Texas is facing felony charges after she was arrested for posing as her daughter in middle school. Watch. Little, can you see what I'm wearing? I got these weird shoes on. I am going to get so caught. I'm actually really scared now. Why? What, 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 oh. Casey yeah, Garcia exactly. posted clips of herself dressed as her 13-year-old daughter on YouTube. The videos went viral, which included her talking to students and even eating inside the school cafeteria. Garcia says she only did it to test campus safety. Yeah, sure. The teacher eventually noticed she wasn't a student. Garcia turned herself into the principal. The next day, she was contacted by the El Paso County Sheriff's Office. Listen. Yes, sir. How can I help you? I'm just letting you know that I am recording. That's it. I said I wasn't going to go back on school ground, so he figured it out. He got his ego destroyed. Well, he wants to destroy mine. What? Huh? Garcia was released from custody over the weekend. Her lawyer released a statement saying her videos exposed how easy it could be for someone to breach school grounds. The school superintendent says the district is reviewing their campus security measures. It doesn't really seem like this was done for that purpose. It seems like it was done said. just for, oh, this is going to go viral. Clout. Yeah, some internet clout. And this is sort of your cover up. Oh, no. no, it's just showing the. I'm Frank Abagnale. Yeah. That she actually just really school, likes the, right? the, the, the the breadsticks from school. That's that's what she likes. <laughs> the yeah. breadsticks. She likes the breadsticks uh -huh. from the cafeteria. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They have yeah. breadsticks at your school. Yeah, they, they had breadsticks. Sometimes like the best thing ever. Yeah. Was, Man, we had uh, the thing that was the thing was the pizza in the bag. Oh, oh it was like a square bag pizza. It was like a square oval. So pizza, bizarre. Right? It was like I don't shape. pepperonis yeah. were like little cubes. Yeah, exactly. Just thinking exactly. about baking. Or I guess maybe they microwaved it, but I think they, they had ovens. Everybody. No, they were soft. They weren't crispy. Well, but because, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just it's just weird. All of it's very strange to yeah. me when I think about like the things that we ate in high school and how bad they were. Mm -hmm. And they charge you for it too. You sure, they charge that, you so. for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's funny because like as a kid, when when you would start hearing about those like initiatives to push for like healthier lunches, as a kid or a teenager, I was like, no. No, let us know. And then now I'm just like, oh yeah, that's pretty, pretty rough. I just, yeah. yeah. No, I know. It's just weird because it's like you can't, you can't smoke in school. No, what the heck's up with that? <laughs> you can't smoke in the cafeteria, but here you can eat six thousand calories of French fries and <laughs> yeah, and you only weigh like eighty you know, pounds. You're like an eighty oh, yeah. pound you child. Get stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah, it is, it is wild. We used to do this. We would get those the fries. They were like the grossest, slimiest, greasiest fries. You know, and they were so good. We get two. You could get two of them. Nobody would say no because you know it's you can do whatever you want, but again, you're a child. You don't have the really the ability to make good decisions. So if given the opportunity to eat junk, you're gonna eat junk anyway. Um, uh, we would do f the fries that were so greasy, and then we would get those packets of mayonnaise and we'd put the mayonnaise on the fries. <laughs> yeah. May mayo, on Indiana your fries. baby. Oh yeah, I still could get down Maybe with some French. Maybe if the mayo was like uh, mixed with ketchup, you got like Thousand Islands. Thousand Island. Yeah, that yeah. is not Thousand Island. No, that is mayo no, just mayo. mayo. But I, this mayo yeah. on fries, I know people are grossed yeah. out by that. I, you shouldn't, you shouldn't ask a server to bring you a side of mayo. I get that. That's that's a no no. It grosses yeah. people out. But certain places, that's what they they, 
There's a restaurant across from where I did the show called Plumps. <laughs> Remember when I did the show for a million years in Indiana? Yes. And they are famous for their mayonnaise and french fries. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bobby is actually I, gagging over here. I don't want to live on a planet where somebody is famous for mayos and french fries. <laughs> They're famous for other stuff too, but the mayo and fries is like an iconic thing there. Ugh. That really weirds you out. I guess no, that does not I mean, when you good. think about like, it already is filled with fat. You don't need to add fat to it. No, you don't. Just... All right. Take a break or should we talk about sharks? Oh boy. We when we come rock. back, we more sharks, rock. hammerhead ones, swimming near people enjoying their lives and legs. I thought we were gonna, oh, there we go, yeah, more hammerhead sharks. That's coming up. Well, after the Robert Report. Yeah, he's doing the Robert Report. So let's talk about these sharks real quick. Nine sharks cruising along the coast over the weekend. They just swam around, didn't cause any trouble. But, uh... They're kind of beautiful. There they are, they are. Majestic. Cool boats. We'll be right back. Yeah.